now that we've just had a March wave of Ninjago sets revealed to us, I was about to make a speculation video about how I think that part one of Dragon's Rising season two would start premiering around April-ish and trailers would be coming out very soon. Literally, as I got the idea for that video in my head, I saw this on my social media feed. Guys, I have no proof that I predicted this, but I swear I had this in my head. Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 will be releasing this April 2024. Getting the release window for this season would be good news enough for me, especially because we got the set images today as well. But alongside that news, we've also got a brand new poster for the season, which is looking just absolutely amazing. And I'll get into discussing that in a sec, but we also have the first trailer for the season as well. We have a bunch of news to cover today, so... Let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about here is this teaser poster we have for the new season of Dragons Rising, which shows us quite a bit. This poster is illuminated by the Blood Moon, which as we get into later, when we actually get into the trailer, we'll see that this is a central plot point of the season. There's no way it's not. We're going to talk about what the Blood Moon is and what effects it has on the characters and stuff in a bit. But first, we're just going to go over the poster itself. Here we have our first look at Lord Raz, where we can see him using the Gong of Shattering, which is also something I'm going to get into. We see some Wolf Warriors here, and we have our first look at Cinder, who seems to be powered up by the Blood Moon. And here we have Aaron, Lloyd, and Sora. This makes me pretty happy. I have had kind of on and off concerns about Aaron and Sora's presence in the show, given the, their lack of minifigures and whatnot. So seeing them front and center on the poster with Lloyd just being these three again makes me happy to see. I think Lloyd, Aaron, and Sora is a really good core free cast for the main show, and I'm glad they seem to be sticking to that. On here, though, we also have the adult Ryu design, or teen, or however old he is now, and I didn't like how this design looked in that social media ninja short, but this framing for it looks a lot nicer in my opinion. Like, I get that the purpose of this was to be a dumb, goofy short, but it, this design did look kind of goofy here, but here, I think it looks a lot better. So yeah, there's not really too much to say about this poster. I think it's a really dope design and I'd love to have this in a higher resolution. But yeah, this is a really cool poster. Now, onto the thing we're all really excited for here. That new trailer. So, this trailer starts us out with Lloyd having a vision of the Gong of Shattering, the Blood Moon, and a Wolf Warrior. Now, I know it doesn't really seem like Lloyd to have visions like this. Having seemingly prophetic visions has always been more of a Zane thing in the original show as opposed to Lloyd, but I think I get what's going on here. In season one of Dragons Rising, Lloyd became a conduit for the power of Source Dragons. And when he initially accepted his role as a conduit in season one, episode 10, he started having visions. I think now that Lloyd is a conduit, he's having consistent visions like this. Some that show him events of the past and other that warn him about things happening in the future. I think what we see in season one is an event that happened in the past, but what Lloyd's seeing now in this new trailer is very clearly a prophetic vision of bad things to come. And I think the most obvious hint towards both of these visions being connected to Lloyd's connection of the Source Dragon is just like, look at these scenes. Visually, these two scenes are incredibly similar, with Lloyd being situated in this giant endless void on a glossy reflective floor as he sees weird abstract visions. Like, I'd be absolutely shocked if these were just unrelated visions. They have to be connected to the conduit thing. Anyways, moving on with the trailer, we get to see what's been happening with Raz and Jordana since the end of Season 1. Where we see them situated at the Shadow Dojo we saw on the sets today. As one of Season 2's new characters, Cinder approaches them, surrounded by a giant clan of wolf warriors. Now, what I find interesting is that Cinder seems to be below Jordana and Raz in terms of power. Like, obviously, I figured Raz would be the big bad leader of this giant clan, but I figured Jordana and Cinder, based on their designs, would probably be, like, ranking the same as each other. But based on the fact that they seem to be doing this ritual where they initiate in Cinder... I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but based on Jordana's position here, she very clearly seems to be, like higher up than Cinder in terms of rank, which I find to be pretty interesting. Anyways, this ritual plays out as Cinder hands a new hammer to Raz, who then goes on to hit the Gong of Shattering with it. Now, as for what the Gong of Shattering is, we have absolutely no idea. I believe one LEGO designer mentioned that he uses it to command the army, but that's basically all we know about it so far. It seems to be in some way connected to the Blood Moon that appeared in the start of the trailer and the poster. Now, what's interesting to me about the Blood Moon is you might not see it at first, but we have seen this before in Dragons Rising. Do you guys remember how after the realms merged, the world had two moons, one white and one red? In the final episode of Dragons Rising Season 1, when Lloyd uses the Dragon Energy Cores to stabilize the merged realms, that red moon vanishes. It poofs into thin air. 
After Lloyd stabilizes the merge quakes, this lack of a second red moon is the first thing we are shown. At first I thought, oh whatever, this scene must just have some kind of bad blocking with the red moon being behind a building or they forgot to put it in or something like that. But now I'm starting to think this is like foreshadowing for the entire plot of season two. Like you can't show me the red moon disappearing here and then show us Lloyd having a scary vision of a red moon and then tell me nothing's going on with that moon. They did a really good job subtly foreshadowing this plot point in season one and I'm super excited to see where it goes heading into season two. Now, as to where I think it went, I have no idea. Maybe Raz pulled a Gru and stole the Red Moon or something like that. But what I do think is that the Blood Moon is what gives these Wolf Warriors their power. How I imagine it works is the Gong of Shattering channels through the powers of the Blood Moon, and then in turn pulls them back out from the Moon and gives it to whoever wants them. And I assume that process is carried out by hitting the Gong of that Hammer. After we see this, we get a look at the ninja fighting Raz's wolf warriors in the Cloud Kingdom. And something I find interesting here is that Cinder putting on the wolf mask is what seems to give him the weird blood moon power. Which makes me think that these wolf masks are more than just a cool design and that they actually have plot relevance here. Or maybe it's just Cinder's wolf mask specifically that has this function. I'm not entirely sure because the other wolf warriors have their mask on and don't get the weird blood moon powers. By the way, whatever powers are at play here only activates in Cinder's mask after Raz hits the Gong of Shattering. Backing up my theory that the Gong of Shattering essentially calls the moon to give him powers. Another thing here I want to point out which I'm quite happy about is that Jordana in the show has now swapped to using a set hair. In the new season 2 sets, Jordana was sporting a different hairpiece to her hairpiece from the season 1 show. So, for the sake of accuracy, the show has been bought in line with the minifigure, which makes me happy to see. Also, you guys, you see over there, just in the very corner of the screen? Who does that look like to you? Nia's mech suit definitely doesn't look like that, so I'll give you three guesses who wears blue and dark blue. Jay, at this point in the season, seems to be back on the ninja team. Anyways, after this, Cinder powers up, lunges at the ninja, and the teaser ends. Overall, this was a really solid teaser for the new season of Dragons Rising. I would have liked for it to have been a bit longer, but at the end of the day, I do get that this is meant to be a teaser. Just a little something to get us excited for things to come. And beyond that, we're still two months out from the release month of Dragons Rising Season 2, so I can see why they're playing it light with the marketing for now. But still, the part of me that's really excited wants to see more of this season. But yeah, I thought this was a really solid teaser. It's gotten me sufficiently excited for Season 2, which I already was pretty excited for, and has done a good job at laying the groundwork for Season 2's marketing to come. Having a solid release window of April this far in advance is something I'm particularly happy about. It's nice to have an actual set time we need to wait until, as opposed to just, oh, you'll hear about it when it's two weeks away from release. Dragon's Rising's poster game so far has been absolutely immaculate, and I'm super excited to see more of these. I just wish we had this one in HD. Anyways, I'm waffling at this point, so I'm going to wrap up the video here. I'm super excited for the season two to come, and I hope you guys are as well. But be sure to let me know how you feel about all this in the comments down below. We've had a pretty heavy day in terms of Ninjago news today. What with the new set images, the new poster, release date, trailer. How are we feeling about it? We excited yet? As always, a massive thank you to the channel members for financially supporting the channel. Your guys' support means the world to me. And a huge thank you to everyone for watching this video all the way through. If you like Ninjago videos like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, I will see you in a future video. Goodbye for now.